physics in the solar system using the data from the spacecraft Hayabusa 2. Welcome to our space course. I'm the host Susumi Yoshida from Shinai High School, Wakayama, Japan. In this lecture, you learn the dynamics in the solar system using the Doppler's effect data of a spacecraft Hayabusa 2 during its Earth swing by. Let me begin with introducing the spacecraft Hayabusa and Hayabusa 2. Hayabusa, the first one, was launched by Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, also known as JAXA, in May 2003. Its mission was to get to all the way to a small object Itokawa and to get some rock samples and bring them back to Earth. The small object is considered to be the leftover when our solar system was born. Therefore, the sample from the small object will help us understand the planet and Earth formation. In spite of a lot of travels on the way and back, the spacecraft successfully completed 6 billion kilometer journey and came home in June 2010. Hayabusa 2 is the second one. Even though the first one completed the mission, there were some problems to solve. That's why JAXA decided to launch the second one. Hayabusa 2 was launched in December 2014 from Tanegashima Space Center, Japan. A year later, it successfully performed Earth swing by and now it is pretty close to a small object Ryugu. It is going to land on the small object in some weeks and expected to come home in 2020. IFES, the Institute for Education on Space of Wakayama University, Japan, successfully captured the radio signal from Hayabusa 2 on the day of Earth swing by December 3rd 2015. By analyzing the change in wavelengths of the signal, we can learn the dynamics of the spacecraft and the planets through Doppler's effect of light. We are going to discuss those topics in this lecture. When Hayabusa 2 was launched, it was carried by the H-2A rocket into the space. Since then, it runs around Sun. By the way, how does it run? Do you think it burns some fuel like an airplane always does? No, actually it has engines, but most of the time on its orbit, its engines are turned off. Hayabusa 2 runs around Sun exactly like our Earth does. When Earth runs around the Sun, it doesn't use any fuel, right? Not only Earth, but also Mars, Venus, Jupiter, every planet runs around the Sun by itself. Then what is the source of their energy? The answer is the gravity. Every object in this universe pulls each other, and the strength of the force is proportional to the product of their masses. The force is called the universal gravitation discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. For example, between our body and Earth, we pull each other with the universal gravitation. Even though we can understand our body is pulled by Earth, we never feel our body pulled the Earth. So the force between our body and Earth appears to be one way. In this picture, Earth pulled the apple, but the apple pulled the Earth as well. Like this. The ball dropped, which means the ball was pulled by Earth. We feel so just because the mass of Earth is tremendously huge compared to that of the ball. So we feel like every object on Earth drops onto Earth. The force from Earth to an object is called the gravity. But remember, even if the gravity seems to be one way, 
it is essentially mutual. The same dynamics exist between Sun and Earth. Because the mass of Sun is much bigger than that of Earth, Sun seems to stay at one location. Actually, it's wrong. Earth is always dropping towards Sun. Do you understand what it means? Our Earth is always dropping towards Sun. To understand this, let's think about a ball and Earth instead of Earth and Sun. When you throw a ball horizontally, the ball will drop some meters ahead. If you throw it faster, it will go further. Let's suppose you can throw it enormously fast beyond the human ability and there's no air on Earth, there's no mountains or buildings. Earth is a perfect sphere. You throw a ball, it will drop, but before it drops, the ground rounds, so the distance between the ball and the ground stay the same. When it happens, the orbit of the ball is not parabolic anymore, but circular. This is what happens between Sun and Earth, or Earth and Moon. So, our Earth runs around Sun on the circular orbit, but actually it is always dropping onto the Sun by the gravity of the Sun. So does Hayabusa 2. That's why Hayabusa 2 doesn't need any engine or any fuel when it runs around the Sun. In fact, Hayabusa 2 has its own engines, but it uses them only on special occasions, like when it swings by. One more addition. For simplicity, I said the orbit of Earth around the Sun was circular, but more precisely, I should have said elliptic. Like I said, Hayabusa 2 is heading for a small object Ryugu to research the origin of the solar system and the origin of our life. To do so, it has some excellent cameras and takes a lot of pictures and sends them back to Earth on a radio wave. This is the photo sent from Hayabusa 2, taken on June 26, 2018. This diamond-shaped asteroid is Ryugu, its final destination. So clear, right? Wakayama University has a giant parabola antenna to catch this wave. When Wakayama University caught the wave on the day of the swing by, December 3rd, 2015, they found something curious. The frequency of the wave swung back and forth as it approached to us. This phenomenon is called the Doppler's effect. So we are going to learn about Doppler's effect. When an ambulance is coming towards you and after it passes you, do you know the sound changes? Oops, an ambulance is coming towards you. Did you notice? See, when it's coming to you, the sound sounds higher, but as soon as it passes you, the sound switches to lower. That's Doppler's effect. Doppler's effect occurs because the motion of the ambulance makes the length of the sound change, or the motion of you makes the actual speed of the sound change. Now, coming back to the topics on Hayabusa 2. Even though the wave emitted by Hayabusa 2 is not a sound wave, but a radio wave, Doppler's effect occurs almost in the same way. Like I said before, Hayabusa 2 is sending pictures and lots of other information to us on the radio wave. The wave Hayabusa 2 is using is called X-band, and its frequency is almost 8.4 GHz. When Hayabusa 2 is coming towards us, the frequency we get is higher than its original one.
On the other hand, when it's going away from us, the frequency we get is lower than the original one. Now we are going to show you a video. Please pay attention to its motion. Even while it's approaching towards us, the peak moves right at first which means the frequency is getting higher and higher. Look at the peak on the right side in the screen. It's moving right slowly. And then the motion switches to left shift, which means the frequency is getting lower and lower. In another word, the speed it is coming to Earth is getting slower and slower. Look at the peak. That peak is moving left very fast. From those data, you'll get a lot of results. The relative velocity between Wakayama and Hayabusa 2 on the day of swing by is one of them. Using the data and the formula of Doppler's effect radio wave version, it is calculated as 16.7 kilometers per second. Doppler's effect occurs not only because Hayabusa 2 is coming closer to Earth, but because Earth is rotating on its axis. Earth runs around Sun 30 kilometers per second and rotating on its axis 0.5 kilometers per second. When we calculated the speed above, I mean 16.7 kilometers per second, both speeds 30 kilometers per second and 0.5 kilometers per second are considered. That's all I tell you in this lecture. Thanks for watching our video. I hope this will help you understand physics on the solar system and have the two successfully comes back.